Hello, this is Brian Hegney, instructor of game and interactive media design. And so what whoops, what I'm showing here is I was just I'm just gonna finish up the little bit that we have left for the body of this standard male character. And I'm just kind of making the muscles here, making sure they're lining up. And I'm what I'm the other thing I'm gonna do is make sure I have you know, a, a thing there. I'm going to make sure I have three swift loops per axis or per bend. Let's do that. Oops, do that. Scale this down a little bit. Oops. Just move this here. Scale this out. Add another one. And I want to just take a look at this body to see how we've got it going. All right. There's our typical body. Of course, I don't have that. I don't have the axis of symmetry there. What I'm going to do is add another symmetry modifier. When you're done, you can always add another symmetry modifier so that you don't have to model all of the arms because that would be kind of ridiculous. I'm going to go into front mode turn on my edge faces just to make sure I don't have too many. And the other thing I want to do now with the, his body here is before I actually do that symmetry mode, I'm going to come in, add another edit poly. I'm basically worried about duplicating the center line here. So what I'm going to do is select every single polygon or vert there and just move it over to the right a little bit so that when I add my symmetry, I know that I'm not duplicating stuff here. All right, now that we did that, I'm going to add an edit poly. Of course, I'm not done with the arms and with the head and with the feet. Um, modeling a body is really hard. And so if you get this far, you're doing really well. Um, and the reason why I'm having us model this guy is because if you do this much, you can do this and you can make a fairly believable head and believable arms and believable legs and believable pot. And you don't need to model a perfect head. The moment you start modeling heads and hands and feet. Well, I got to tell you, it's more than two weeks that are left. It's more than three weeks that are left. There's a lot more. So I wanted to show you the basic overall modeling for a body. I wanted to show you how you create edge loops, how you rotate edge loops, and guess what? Rotate, scale, and moving edge loops along a human form or any type of body form. Um, that's what you'll need to do. I'd still add more, by the way. I'm probably I would probably add more edge loops wherever this guy bends. Um, and but this is the basic way to go about modeling. You're gonna want to model heads. I'll show you some videos next week how you can go. There's many different there's many different ways you can go about modeling head. Focus on the body. If you get through the body, that's great. Um, and if you don't, you know, then you'll know why people spend years modeling. Um, okay, I hope you had fun. In the next videos that are basically what would be videos for class, we are going to go over applying this concept to the little Pueblo dude um, that my other student made, and we will unwrap it and etc. Okay, bye!